On this episode of Living the Dream, Captain Jimmy and Louisa travel to Isla Morada, Florida, where the permit is spawning, and Captain Dave Jones puts them on schools by the hundreds. Got one. Nice. Woo! Permit on, guys. Check it out. Woo! Fish on! <laughs> oh, yeah! I got 300 yards almost gone. Now we're in business. We got him. He's close here, guys. Oh, I just gotta keep him off these buoys. Woo! Singing that drag. This is Living the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson. Ah, there he is! Woo! Presented by Salt Life. Live salty. Get any better than Baja. So Louisa and I hooked up with our buddy, Captain Dave Jones out of Isla Mirada, and we decided to run out and try for permit this morning. We've been catching permit down in the Keys for so many years. Back when I owned a condo down there, my dad and I would fish it every single year growing up, you know, this time of year, April, May, June, when the permit were just on those wrecks real thick. And uh, we always had a good time doing it. Louisa and I have caught them several times. And it's one of those things we really don't get tired of doing. We love catching permit on the wrecks and on the reefs. On this particular trip, it was timed perfectly because the fish were there and they were big. As soon as we pull up to the spot, there were permit on the surface. So Dave spotted them. We circled back around to try to get a crab out in front of them. Within minutes of being there, Louisa was hooked up to a pretty big permit. Got one. Nice. Woo! Good job, Louisa. Yeah. Well done. Woo! Permit on, Catch guys. It up. <laughs> Woo, that's what I love about permit fishing. I haven't caught a permit in a long time. There you go, good fish. That's exciting. It's a beautiful fish. Woo! And she's fighting it and fighting it and is pulling back line. I mean, permit are just so strong, man. They never give up. Don't you just love the sound? Good job. Woo! There, there it go. is. Now I can reel a little bit before he runs out again. I gotta go back to the boat, guys. Wow. We were using 40 pound high seas fluorocarbon leader. You don't want them to see the line because they do have very good eyesight. So we had to take our time a little bit with it because uh, you know, you can't sit there and break your line off, but at the same time, you have to put enough pressure on them to keep them away from the sharks and the other things down there that'll want to eat them. Let me know when you get them close. I'll reach down there and get them for Gosh, you. Gosh, that's exciting. Yeah, that's when a was good the last one. time you caught a permit here in the Kings? Probably about that, this right? time last year. Yeah. <laughs> It's one of the best times of year to get them. For sure. April, May, June, they're out here on the wrecks and stuff and on the reefs uh, spawning and having a good old time I, offshore. Yeah. So if you don't have a flats, but you come out here on an offshore boat, catch these tough fish. Woo! It's a race here. Gosh, this is awesome. First thing in the morning, it's a great way to start today. You got them hooked perfect now. We'll just caress them in. Bring them in nice and slow. You actually ate a little crab. I had a probably the smallest crab in there. And that's what we're using for bait. Live crab. I see color. Okay. Check it out. Wow. Woo! Got him. Oh Woo! my gosh. And look at that oh little hook gosh! right there. Barely in his lip. Woo! Oh my gosh. Alright, oh there it is. <laughs> Got my Florida Keys permit. Very nice one, huh? Strong fish? Very strong. Awesome fight, for sure. Awesome, awesome. Yes. Real good fish. Well, this guy's had a long fight, so let's go ahead and get him back in the water and catch another one. Let's do it. Alright. Immediately after releasing Louisa's permit, I hooked into another one. Oh, there he is. Fish on! Oh, yeah! That took all of about four seconds. Oh, I just gotta keep them off these buoys. 
Oh no! Oh no! He's on the buoy! Is, I can feel it rubbing. Permit are such strong fish. They're in the jack family and they just fight and they fight all the way top to bottom. And it's so hard pulling them through the water. They know how to turn their body right to really, you know, put up a good fight because they don't want to get caught. Wrong direction. We got to stay on this side because I'm wrapping now. It pulled off the rope. I, he's still under it. He's like, you're out, you're out. he's 100 yards past it though. Can you drive me that way? Because I might be able to pull him out that way. This thing has been in and out of every buoy in the ocean. And somehow, I still have him hooked up. And that's why I use a good leader too. This is a 30 pound high seas fluorocarbon leader, which is a light leader for a big fish like that. But you need this because permit have exceptional eyesight. This one have those big eyes. Very good at seeing. So, you know, light leader on, rubbing all over the buoy ropes and everything else, and it didn't even cut me off. Jeez, look at that thing just blow off of this reel. Five minutes in and it's still pulling drag like that. Big, big fish. This has to be a big one. I got 300 yards almost gone. He is, he's a mile that way. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone. He's, I was just about to change that drag too. And just pull it off. That's what happens sometimes. Louisa got a nice one. That was a big one. That was a really big one. Disappointing, but there's a bunch of them out here. We'll be back for more Living the Dream right after the break. Living the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson is made possible by Salt Life. Live salty. Angle Coolers, the original high-performance cooler. Sea Deck. Your boat deserves Sea Deck. ACR Electronics, the science of survival. And by American Fishing Wire. Home to over 500 species of fish, it's no wonder Isla Morada has gained recognition as the sport fishing capital of the world. And if you're looking to live the dream on your next vacation, be sure to pack your poles and your clubs. The Chica Lodge and Spa boasts a seaside nine-hole par three Jack Nicholas design course. Its easily walkable manicured greens make this the perfect course to polish up your short game. And if you want to get your blood pumping, team up for an exciting game of doubles on one of the lodge's six tennis courts. Whether you're swinging rackets or clubs or reeling in sailfish, be sure to grab a post-game sportsman massage at the Lodge's very own spa or stroll the over 1,200 feet of palm-fringed beach in crystal clear water. With over 27 acres of lush gardens, three first-class restaurants, 214 spacious rooms and suites with a spa-like atmosphere, a full-service water sports facility and over 4,600 square feet of versatile event space, the Chica Lodge and Spa isn't just the perfect place for anglers, it's a great place for their families too. And if nothing else, there's always just relaxation, an easy thing to succumb to at the Chica Lodge and Spa. For more info or to book your stay today, visit www.chica.com. Back offshore, Jimmy and Louisa are still deep into massive schools of permit. Before the break, Jimmy hooked into what felt like a beast, but his line wrapped around a few nearby buoys and he lost the fish. Oh, I just gotta keep him off these buoys. Oh no, oh no, he's on the buoy. This thing has been in and out of every buoy in the ocean. And somehow, I still have him hooked up. I got 300 yards almost gone. He is, he's a mile that way. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone. That was a big one, that was a really big one. Disappointing, but there's a bunch of them out here. 
Jimmy knows that the only reason there are schools like this is because the buoys and wrecks provide them with structure. It just so happens that it's the same reason he was cut off. But to most fishermen, it's well worth the risk because it's never too long before you're hooked into another one. Got him. Woo! Woo! Good job, Jimmy. <laughs> Let's see if we can keep this one off the buoys, guys. It's really awesome being able to have such a great fishery here in America and in the Florida Keys to where you can catch one permit after another. We target these fish all around the world, different islands in the Caribbean that we go to, and I've never seen such numbers of permit as I've seen in Florida. Now we're in business. There he goes. <laughs> See, I switched reels out. I was using that Evict, but the, uh, the noise maker on the drag went out on that fish. You really want something that you can, you can put the brakes on it if you have to, something hard and strong enough to keep it off the wreck. And this Shield 6000 is able to do it. I would recommend a 6000 size reel or bigger because you do want to land these fish quick. You don't want to have to fight them all day long and send them back dead because you're fighting on light tackle, something that's just going to hurt them. We got him, he's close here, guys. This one's gonna be well earned. I don't think it's anywhere near as big as that last one that I just lost, but uh, still a good fish. These fish, they're just, the way they're shaped, they just turn themselves sideways. It's just like pulling the lid of a trash can through the water. There he is. Hey, he's, he's much smaller than the last one, but still not a bad fish. I have the smallest permit in the whole school. Sometimes it's hard to tell how big the permit are because they're just such strong fish, even the medium-sized fish. And there he is. Something on these little ones. I just want to show you guys here. If you're gonna grab a permit, there are a few things that can hurt you on it. These spikes on his back, he's actually flexing up right now. Those are very, very sharp. Super sharp, hard bone right there. Don't want to get stuck by one of those. Everything else on this fish is 100% safe to touch. Got uh, no teeth in its mouth at all. Just crushers on the top there for the crabs and shrimp and stuff that they eat. And they have those really soft lips, like people lips. He's out here for some loving too though. They're all out here spawning, trying to make some babies, make more permit. All and right. eat some crabs. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go ahead and drop him back in. Let's do it. Let's see if we can get a double. All right. Living the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson is made possible by CH Lures. Be a winner with CH Lures. Plantation on Crystal River, the place to stay and play along Florida's nature coast. Cayman Islands Angling Club. Come experience sport fishing in paradise. And by Salt Life. Live salty. No matter how the fish are being, Jimmy and Louisa always make the time to stop by the square grouper when they're in Isla Morada. One of the most popular eateries in all the Keys and located in the sport fishing capital of the world, the square grouper is a hard joint to ignore. With a deck made for dining that overlooks the Isla Morada marina, it's easy to recognize the square grouper's refined atmosphere which makes it all the easier to enjoy their innovative food selection. Along with a great view and a sea breeze, the Square Grouper boasts an unforgettable fresh and local seafood selection, craft cocktails, an extensive wine selection, and a long list of delicious desserts. Be sure to stop by on your next trip to the Florida Keys, or reserve your table today at www.squaregrouperislamorada.com Back on the water, Jimmy and Louisa have just hooked into a double. I got one too! Doubled up! Woo! <laughs> All right guys, well welcome back to the Daily Double. Out well, here <laughs> catching permit in Isla Morada. Holy smokes, Louisa, how is that, girl? That is awesome. How is that fun or what? <laughs> oh my, 
It's nowhere near as big as that other one. Yeah, that's cool. It's there. crazy. It was really nice. See those? Hundreds, hundreds of permit here. Right so many the of them out here. So I'm fighting my fish and she's fighting hers and they keep getting close to each other. We just can't seem to get them apart. Just the way they got pulled out of the school or something. Go under me. Keep an eye on our lines, Dave. You might have a better angle out of than me. I feel that I'm over top, but just let me know if I'm not. And for some reason, they just wanted to keep wrapping each other. So the fish are wrapped and we're trying to unwrap it and it doesn't seem to be working out. And the closer we got the fish to the surface, we realized that we were both hooked into the same fish. We caught the same fish. No, no kidding. Way. We the, the same, same fish? About 500 ah. fish right there. Right? That's $4 of crabs in that one fish's belly right there. My gosh, it's a greedy one. He deserves to get caught. This is crazy. We caught this Yeah, we're wrapped all right. Wrapped on the same fish. Oh my. Can you walk that way? You've got to be kidding me. Wow, this is crazy. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. And there's our fish. Same fish. Technically our fish. Two different crabs, two different hooks, two rods. Yeah. We landed them. That Ooh. was teamwork right there. That's for sure. <laughs> Such a wide, strong fish. And big old eyeballs too. That's why we use that light meter. Super good vision. That's why they're one of the hardest fish to catch on the flats. Awesome. For Jimmy and Louisa, fishing just off the coast of Isla Morada with Captain Dave Jones has been a breeze. He's put them on some thick schools. And when you drop a crab in front of a hundred hungry permit, you can guarantee the fish will keep coming. Got one. Nice. Woo! Permit on, guys. Check it out. Woo! Fish on! <laughs> oh, yeah! I got 300 yards almost gone. Now we're in business. We got him, he's close here, guys. Unreal bite. I mean, the permit were just everywhere. There was schools of them by the hundreds that we would see swim below the boat, swim beside the boat. And when you just see these schools pop up like that, it's just such an exciting feeling because you know you're about to hook up. Just place your crab right in that school and you're gonna have a fish on. Oh, wait, 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 I feel something. Real, real, real. real. Job. Nice job. Woo! It's such an amazing day when you can catch permit after permit after permit and big ones at that. Oh, I see some color. I think the fish just saw the boat because he just took a really long run. And this fish was fighting like the other ones as well, just as strong. Yeah. Woo, it's a good size and permit too. Yeah. Nice splash. Good fish. Got us wet a little bit there. Come here, buddy. All right. And another one. <laughs> and another one. Good job, Louisa. You're definitely out fishing me on the permit today. I mean, we did catch like the same fish. Already. Every once in a while, she lets me hook one of the ones she already has hooked. <laughs> yeah, this is, look at this. Gosh, big fish. I'm gonna have to get the pliers for that. Yeah. Right there in the, the corner of his mouth. After a few quick picks, we released that permit and got our lines out to catch another one. They're they're close. There oh, there it is. Got him. Got him. Nice. Fish on. <laughs> Singing that drag. Gosh, never get over how strong these fish are, man. And now this permit was fighting better than any of the other ones so far today. Any fish with those big forked tails that can just move through the water is gonna be a strong fish, like a sailfish or a marlin or a tuna. And of course, a permit. They are made for pushing through water fast. And he's coming the right direction now. Getting all that line back that he just took out. And if I haven't already said it a few times a day, we're using 50 pound braid and 30 pound high seas fluorocarbon leader. And this particular setup is the 20 to 40 class Tsunami Elite Series rod and their 6,000 shield reel. It's a pretty good combo for this kind of thing right here. And uh, it's the same thing that I use for snook in the inlet and stuff. So this is a good, good size setup. You, you have enough line capacity for when a permit does something crazy like that. It wants to run 300 yards away. And he's still going. Well, I could tell this was a huge fish. Man. Woo! Come on, big guy. You can do it. You can see how much line I have on my spool now. It's taking me a little while to get this much back in. 
All right, he's on the surface now. And that was definitely the biggest permit of the day. I got that fish closer and closer to the boat and got him in a position where I was ready to bring him in. Jeez. Biggest one Woo. so far. Yes, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> True monster right there. Oh, yeah. Wow. And now look again, guys. Every time that hook is getting right there in the corner of his mouth, right where it needs to be. Got that fish hooked perfect. So glad to be out here catching these with you today. Such a fun no, thing, huh? Just living the dream. Yeah, just living the dream out here in Isla Mirada. Good fish. Biggest one so far. Beautiful fish. Here he goes. Within seconds of Louisa getting a crab back in the water, she was hooked up again. Got him. Another permit on. Non-stop action, huh? All day. Woo! See color. Oh yeah, here we go. Got a good shot of it right here. Look at that. There he goes. He ain't sticking around, that's nope. for sure. He knows what happened to his friends. She's nice. almost ready for you to land. Maybe. Yeah. Let's Here. see if he wants to come into us. Another beauty. Woo! Got it. Got him. <laughs> Very nice. And again, every fish right in the corner of the mouth. You can't get much better than that. That's true. Hit that right. All right. Good job. Great fight. Yes. Another gorgeous permit here, guys. Like I was saying earlier, it seems like they don't make small permit over here. I'm gonna go ahead and release this one. Another beauty going back in the water. Woo! There she goes. Thanks for the fight. Nice. Nice. For more fishing and diving action, follow along on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at Captain Jimmy Nelson.